Now let's get straight to it. I'm not gonna even waste time. Arteta out, that's my first sentence. And second of all, we just lost 2-1 to Everton. Now, we ain't won in God knows how long in this league. We are 15th. We are fighting for relegation. We are looking over our shoulders for teams like Fulham, Brighton. Shit clubs today are literally competing with Arsenal Football Club. Now, me, anyone that knows me, I've been Arteta out for time, yeah? When we had Emery, I was Emery out from before he even joined the club because I was like, this guy, I didn't rate him as a coach, you know? What he done at PSG, I didn't rate that, you know? We knew that he was a coach that done well in the Europa League and that was it, but I didn't like him, like, so wait, the madness he done at PSG. Arteta as well, when we, when we signed him, I was like, nah. I done my video months ago, I gave my opinion about Arteta, you know what I'm saying? So, everyone that... Hasn't seen that video, just check it out. I've been Arteta out. I don't like the decision he's taken. Like, he's come to Arsenal thinking he's Pep 2.0. He's done a madness. And it's terrible. And I'm pissed off for the fans. Some of the fans that were Wenger out. Some of the fans that forced Arsenal Wenger to quit Arsenal. I love Arsenal Wenger. And I will put my hand up and say... Um, the last few years wasn't good enough, but he didn't deserve to be kicked out of the football club. The issue was bigger than that. A lot of fans were delusional. A lot of fans thought we were better than we were. A lot of fans keep talking about how we were promised to be like Bayern Munich. Bro, it's been, it, it went, 10 years went past where we realised this was not what was going on. We should have accepted the reality. Arsenal do not have the budget of other teams because our owner doesn't want to fucking spend. That is it. He doesn't want to spend money. We forced Wenger out thinking the next manager was going to come and, and change it all and next manager was going to come and put pressure on the owners. Bullshit. At least Wenger, you had a man there that was respected by the dressing room. He was respected by a lot of the fans. So you knew he would at least compete for that top four. He knew it. A lot of people now are feeling kind of guilty. But you know what it is? It's their ego and their pride. Because Ven knew Ven Ven know that they were part of the reasons why Wenger walked out or Wenger was kicked out or sacked or left by mutual agreement, whatever you want to call it. They want to still go back to the fact, oh, we still got these players that played on under Arsenal Wenger. Shut it, mate. We've got a lot of other players. We've got a lot of other players. A lot of the fans blamed Ozil who hasn't played at all this season and also has never been in the Arsenal squad that is fighting for relegation. Because a lot of fans love to point out certain players. We've got a lot of other players today that weren't there during the Wenger regime. And them guys that were even there during the Wenger regime were never 15th. So it's got nothing to do with that. The reality is a lot of fans are just delusional. They don't want to accept our owner is the guy that doesn't want to spend. He doesn't want to spend. So what we need is just a coach with experience, a coach that is respected, a coach that knows how to motivate his players so that we continue being that team that fights for top four, mate. That's what we need to... We need to come to reality. That's what it will be. We will never have an owner that's going to spend that much unless this guy this guy sells Arsenal, which he's not going to do because he, he obviously, he's obviously profiting from um, what, we've been, what we've been achieving. He's been profiting from it. This is the reality. Arsenal is a big football club by name, but we haven't been a big club for 15 years. We haven't. Wenger works on miracles in the early 2000s. That's because at that time, you get me, money wasn't overtaking football like this. You know, he's never been a man that splashed out money, you know, and that's why Arsenal owners have always loved him because he's always got the best out of certain players and he always managed to find these cheap players and turn them turn them to world class players. Like, that's just what it is, you know. And that's the people at the top. But I'm angry because these guys are what blaming Wenger, blaming Ozil, and they're still trying to blame some of the old players. Like, like today there was no Bellerin, no Bellerin today. There's no Bellerin to blame today. No Ozil to blame. No Shaka to blame. 
all those people that are apparently from the Wenger regime, they weren't there. They weren't there. Apart from who? Maybe Holden. It's shocking. Shocking. We are shit. And we need to realise that we are not a big club any fucking more. We are a team that is, you know, top eight, top nine right now. Top eight, top nine. So let's come back to realities. Let's stop blaming now. The only person we can blame right now is the manager, first, first and foremost. Clearly, he can't motivate his players. He's had a lot of chances. We haven't won in so long in the league. Never happened. It's time to go, mate. It's time to, you know, F off. It's time to go. It's shit. When he's gone now, we can start now blaming fingers and putting pressure on the owners. That's it. And our next manager needs to be a manager with bag of experience. A manager that's done well at previous clubs. Not some fake Dracula, um, Unai Emery or some, you get me, unqualified manager like Arteta. Who basically wants to be Pep's double. Like that's what he wants to do. He wants to act like he's Pep Guardiola. He's not. He's made some shocking decisions. Saliba, Ozil, you know, Pepe, who wasn't good today as well. Um, people like that, he's done it a confidence. He hasn't, he hasn't obviously um, gone by the same morals with every player. Certain players, he drags them out of the team as soon as they do one thing wrong. Certain players keep playing. William started the season, played well one game, and has been terrible all the other games. He insisted on playing him. So... He's a manager that clearly has no experience and doesn't know what he's doing, you know. He looks like he's a guy that's confident, arrogant, you know. He looks like a guy that's fully confident in himself, but the reality, the results are not showing it. The results are not showing it. And the decision he has taken is definitely the worst decision any Arsenal fan, I mean, any Arsenal man could have taken, you know. You can't put your highest paid player out of the squad. You just can't do that. Whether it's bigger than, like, you know, what everyone thinks. The rally, he's come there and taken responsibility for that, which is stupid if it's not his decision. Because when he gets sacked, he's going to have to live and stand by that decision because he came in front of the camera to, 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 to accept it. It's shit. 